hello guys welcome back to the vlog the rain has finally stopped and i just feel like our entire house feels in disarray do you know what i mean like i just feel like everything is like a mess and on monday obviously the pool guy and the gardener will come and like work on the yard part of things just because we need the yard to not be wet it's still everything's still wet and inside is a whole nother story i mean we've moved everything out of the way again uh, so that we could kind of like deodorize and deep clean the brick so we did that i'm just i'm just so happy that we came home when we did so that it wasn't worse honestly i mean when we got home it was just around the back door can you imagine if we have gotten home and the entire living room was flooded with water because it would have been and it had started to pour down into the bedroom and then pour because that kind of slopes you know kind of like tears down into the bathroom and everywhere and then it had gotten high enough to go onto the wood i just like I, i've been having a little bit of like mini nightmares about the damage that could have happened so our only problem really right now is my vintage rug which we have now kind of like it's like 90 percent dry because it was just raining outside we don't have a we didn't have a place to like get it dry or pick it up it's, it's a huge rug so I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any advice on cleaning vintage rugs because I've definitely never done that. Um, I've never really had a reason to have one deep cleaned like that. It was just normal like spot clean, vacuum kind of situations. And the majority of you guys just said take it to a, a professional. Maybe our insurance will cover it too. I just, I think it's going to be pretty costly. So we kind of have to figure all of that out. I did find a good uh, rug cleaner that we're going to take the rug to. So first things, first step, let's figure out how much it's going to cost because that is my favorite rug. I have never seen another rug that has that black and, and neutral in it and it was costly. I invested in that rug. I saw a couple of comments come through like when I asked to clean it, get rid of it. <gasps> like my heart hurt when people said that. Like that's not an option. It can be saved. Anything can be saved. We just have to have it properly deodorized and cleaned. And I just think a professional is going to be able to do that a lot better than us. Luckily, and hopefully, we now understand how to properly manage our yard and water flow and we're learning so that we can avoid this ever happening again even though i know like so many people's houses were so much worse than ours especially if they lived more in the canyon where there was mud and california is not set up for that much rain and we felt it <laughs> you know we're gonna take that we're gonna go get some lunch we're gonna take the rug um i don't know how long it's gonna take maybe maybe a week or so then we can finally like start to get the house back together so it doesn't look like i don't know, look like a disaster <laughs> truly it looks like a disaster and i'm so sorry that you keep seeing me in the same clothes over and over again my clothes are clean i'm just very limited on what i can wear we're officially 22 weeks pregnant We'll see if you can see my bump without me lifting my shirt. Like the bump is bumping. I just like don't feel comfortable in a lot of things. I can no longer close my pants. So all my pants, I'd like to actually go through my closet and just kind of like, let's get everything out that I can't wear for the time being for the next probably six months, even after the baby comes. Get those out of my way because I'm like, oh, can't wear, can't wear, can't done fit, can't wear. So I, I have ordered a few things like trying to make outfits because I feel like discouraged when I try and get dressed. That's why I resort to just wearing sweats. Like the particularly this sweatsuit and my black one is like pretty much all I have. So Romeo's been so sweet. He's been like, like washing them like regularly for me. I do have some stuff on the way. Being pregnant puts a whole new meaning on I have nothing to wear because it's like true. It's not like I just don't like it. It's that I actually can't wear it. Got some water, my vitamins. I'll go drop that off. Fingers crossed it's not a small fortune. But if it is, I'm gonna contact my insurance. We'll navigate that route. Flooding definitely falls under insurance. Okay, we dropped it off. It is going to be 
but I knew it. I had already done research. I actually was anticipating it being more, a little bit more than that because they charge per square foot. And then that's a huge, that's a 10 by 13 rug. It's, it's a larger scale rug. And I mean, we could explore the option of like insurance and stuff, but it's our deductibles probably that much. I don't know. Like I, I could explore, I could do some research on it, but like, at least we know that it's savable and it's like going to be well done. And they couldn't even start working on rugs until probably today because yeah, it rained rain yesterday. Yeah. Because they dry the stuff outside. Yeah. They were so nice. This is like the best rated one. They even do like pickups and drop offs. So uh, they were very nice. So after I, we get the rug back, they said it's going to take 10 days. I'll do like a formal, like, like this is totally worth it kind of thing. But right now I don't know. I'm glad that it's out of the house because it was starting to smell. And it was very nice. I'm glad about those things. <laughs> so we'll see. Made it back. It was a little bit of a drive to get to the um, rug place, but I'm so glad that it's going to be done the right way. Yes, in theory, the DIY part of me would have loved to figure out how to clean it myself, but at the same time, they're gonna do better, for sure. <laughs> Came back to very exciting delivery, I think, and I'm pretty sure. Uh, we're developing new scents for this year for Auden Lore. I'm so excited. Um, we already have one that's going to be coming out for spring, which I'm really excited about. And just the whole production process in general, um, you know, takes a while, especially when you're starting from scratch, like with what's in here. These are my ideas for notes and scents uh, for different times of year, you know, for summer and going into fall and holiday. And I just really wanted to experiment with some of my ideas and see, you know, what we can come up with. These should be the first round. If it's anything like the first time around when we developed the original signature scents, Arlo and Ellery, um, we went through, I think, three rounds of development. It's like you pick the first one that you really, you, you kind of lean towards one and then you keep kind of like adding in different notes and figuring out you know, the right combination and getting what you really want to smell from it. Kinsley, you're such a curious girl. Oh, yay. Okay, this is summer launch. These are for fall. I had a lot of ideas for fall, a lot. I mean, fall is just a great time for a cozy candle. You know, like I feel like there's so many amazing scents in fall that you know, really wanted to try some. Oh no, these two, these two are holiday. This one is fall. This has been so much fun to, you know, I, I feel like I've spent so much of my life and my career, even before I was creating content online and, and doing my YouTube, even before I started my YouTube channel, product development and being in a product-based business and working and marketing for a product-based business is what I did for so much of my career and my life, that it's been so much fun to be able to create something completely my own with all of the experience and the, you know, the background that I used to have. Um, and it's, it's just been fun to kind of get kind of in touch with that side of me again and start this business aside from creating just my rooms and my content. It's been a lot of fun. Fall, 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 fall. And two, yeah. See, I had a lot, a lot of ideas for fall. Working with quality notes and fragrances and essential oils is so amazing. I'm not gonna give too much away. These are still very preliminary. Like it's like, oh, this one smells so clean. Oh my God, I can't wait for Romeo to smell these. Oh, those are for summer. Okay, I love that they're all individually different. I think part of my process the first time around was like smelling them initially, kind of walking outside because smelling coffee beans does nothing to cleanse your palate, I have learned. <laughs> it's like not, it's like placebo effect. It's, just, it's not real. The best thing you can do is to walk outside, get some fresh air and then revisit something. So my process the first time was really to smell them, sit with them for a little bit, figure out what I smell first and the layers and stuff. Because the thing about the scents that 
we've been creating for odd and lore they're very complex and they're very layered and so you might smell it the first time and smell something and then you might smell it again and you smell a completely new note in it and it's it's very makes the makes the whole scent very well rounded and robust and when it's burning in your house it's just pleasant and layered and it's not just the one thing that you're smelling so I kind of sit with them for a little bit. We are going to have a new one come out really, really soon. And if you're like a warm Palo Santo scent kind of lover, you are going to love the one for spring. I love it. I love its warmth. And I say spring lightly because it will be a year round scent. It's not specific to the spring season. It just happens to be launching in spring. So it will be an evergreen kind of scent for sure. <music> guys okay it's actually been, <laughs> been two days <laughs> because i went down a design rabbit hole yesterday i have so many design projects working in my head at the moment i feel like um that i'm just kind of like dabbling <laughs> in everything like we're working on the nursery which i'm already in my uh, pink clothes because i'm going to be working on it um, today also kind of simultaneously I've been working on the kitchen because we have decided that we would like to attempt and try to renovate our kitchen here before the baby comes because we feel like that's going to be a very large project to take on after the baby's here and we just feel like the time span between like when we could actually start if we wait is just like too long you know and because we have these kind of like new baby things coming coming into the house, like specifically in, like in the kitchen, and whether that be like bottles, sanitizer, machines, and <sighs> things, you know? I, I just, I feel like we're already maxed out in terms of storage. We've been, we, we don't even, we don't even have enough. Like half of the stuff that should be in the kitchen is in the laundry room because we just, or outside in the garage and like storage. So we have to be really, really mindful of all of that because we don't have a pantry and stuff like that. So when we get into like baby things, we just feel like if we can do it over the next four months, we want to try. So that means I'm like, okay, well I have to tell a contractor what I want, right? So it's like, I went down this like really deep design hole yesterday and I like didn't even leave the couch. I was sketching and creating like my boards so that someone else could understand it, not just me. And gathering all of my inspiration that I've had for a while. And I have gone through the design of this kitchen many times because what we're doing is a renovation, obviously. So we're working with what we've got, this, the space that we've got, the exterior walls, and breaking down that center wall and making the entire space, both kitchen, exist, both existing kitchen and dining area now into one big room. So it's instead of compartmentalizing the two so that we don't use them and we're losing counter space and storage and sunlight, we're combining them and optimizing the counter space, storage, and sunlight. It's We're making it better, right? So we have no idea how much this is going to cost. I obviously have like an itemized list of the appliances and things that we're going to be bringing into the space. We had to start somewhere, right? So I really wanted to get 3D renders similar to what I did at the cottage uh, last year for the landscaping, which we have yet to implement um, because, you know, it was coming up on the fall and winter time when everything was gonna die back anyways. We were, they were having a lot of rain and we obviously came here. So it was like, wasn't the right time to, to plant anything or we weren't gonna be there to kind of like maintain it. So it was a, a lot more involved, but we wanted to jumpstart kind of like what we could do and explore what was possible um, at the cottage. So I had these renders done and I really liked them. I was like, wow, I can really 
it's not only just like visualize it in my head what I want it to look like, but I can actually see it. It's tangible. I can show it to a contractor. I can show it to someone. I can tweak it and make it better. So I wanted to do the same thing, but for our kitchen, that meant I have to show people you know, what, what I want. I think a little differently than I had done at the cottage for the landscaping was I didn't know what we could do and I wanted designers help landscaping the cottage. The kitchen, I already know what I want. I just need someone to actually render it so I can see it, make sure that's what I want, make any tweaks, and then show it to a contractor and go build this. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you guys. I did elevations, drawing elevations of every wall, every wall, all four walls. I did, I measured everything again, making sure that it was like exact so that someone could render the floor plans. Um, I have an entire mood board that I did. I just I went down a rabbit hole and I'm so, I feel so accomplished. I'm so glad that I did it because I can actually show what I want. I did hire someone on Fiverr and they're gonna be doing the 2D and 3D renders of it. And so I'm really excited. I can't wait to see it. So stay tuned. I mean, this is like still a work in progress before I make a uh, YouTube video out of it for the main channel. That'll be kind of like the next series that we're diving into. And it will be, I would imagine a three, three and a half month process if if i'm if i'm thinking right it should be able to be finished even if we're to the point where um it's like final touches you know when the baby comes so we're getting there i'm really really excited so that's what i did all day yesterday so i was like okay today i have to flip back my brain and go back into nursery mode so that we can have the nursery finished sometimes my creative mind jumps all over the place and Sometimes it's the subject of procrastination. I know this about myself. I procrastinate starting a project because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Um, so it's like a failure launch. I'm like, oh, but I need to work on all this other stuff too. So I'm still productive, but I'm not doing what I should have been doing in the first place. Anyways, I do that a lot. It's just part of who I am. That is an exciting update of what's to come. So today, we, this morning, Romeo and I went outside and tried to like pick up as much as we could from our water barricades. And the backyard is looking so much better because our gardener just came. So our pool guy will come like later. Hopefully we can get this backyard back to normal soon, but then it's supposed to start raining again on Monday. So it's like, hi. It is what it is. You just have to maintain it and fix it when it gets messed up, so. There's that. So we're gonna head up. Um, I have a lot of caulk work to do. I have some more work on the galaxy wall to do because you guys are gonna see the final reveal the weekend coming up than when you're watching this. I have over a week, but <laughs> but you guys have just a few days and you'll, um, you'll see it. And I'm gonna be working on it pretty much all week. We have furniture being delivered. Um, I have a few things that I've ordered coming in, which I'm excited about. <sighs> I'm always out of breath. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go upstairs. <laughs>